As Korea and ASEAN countries forge closer ties, experts at the World Bank are also optimistic. They told Arirang News that Seoul has many examples to offer in trade, investment, and building human capital that could largely benefit ASEAN countries. Our Oh Soo-young tells us more. South Korea's miracle on the Han River could also change the course of the Mekong River economies. That's according to economists at the World Bank who spoke to Arirang News. With Korea and the 10 nations of ASEAN striking up closer economic ties this week, the World Bank also sees large potential for shared development and prosperity amid global uncertainties and trade disputes. I think other countries look to uh, Korea in terms of its development model, in terms of how it was able to, uh, again, uh, leverage trade and investments to, uh, to drive growth. You have to have a government uh, that is competent, uh, is able to recognize good policy and regulations to promote private sector development. Trade between Korea and ASEAN countries grew 20-fold over the last three decades, while investment grew 70-fold. Investment by Korean firms such as POSCO in Indonesia are helping turn local industries in Vietnam and Indonesia into regional powerhouses. It's very interesting a company like Samsung's investments in Vietnam are not just allocating tasks to the Vietnamese, but encouraging them to move up the value chain and do progressively more and more innovative activities. I think South Korea is a paragon of successful development, one of the countries which moved not just out of low income but to middle income. But in our report, we say they're at a cutting edge. They're doing increasingly innovative goods and services are being produced in the country. And it's reaching out to other countries. Another noteworthy aspect of Korea's development experience is its commitment to nurturing a skilled labor force. The World Bank has a human capital index that we published uh, last year, I believe, and Korea was ranked number two. So this is an indication of how Korea, uh, I think, was very successful in, uh, early on, uh, recognizing the importance of investing in its people to be able to, for instance, adopt technologies and later on uh, also to generate new technologies. However, both South Korea and ASEAN countries face challenges to growth as the wave of automation and new technology disrupts traditional industries and jobs. The experts said new policies are urgently needed to encourage innovative ventures and train future workers in relevant skill sets. South Korea and ASEAN's joint vision declared this week pledges to tackle global challenges together, joining hands in trade, investment, education and entrepreneurship. Oh Soo-young, Arirang News.